Um, you're into the semis, you're into, into the finals, man. Uh, take us to the race. Um, being in lane nine, I knew I had to get out. I knew I had to try to hold that for as long as I can. I knew my start would be um, the determining factor. So I just went um, and I said, come get me. And you just finished strong. You mentioned the fact that this was your strength, the 200 meters. Um, and you obviously showed that as you were able to push through in that last stretch. Yes, this is my strength. This is my baby. This is my race. I love this race. Um, the way that this race makes me feel compared to the 100, it doesn't compare. How confident are you now that you're into the finals that you can maybe push through and get yourself a medal? Hey, it's all mental at this point. Um, like I was telling them, it's all in the mind no matter how my body feels. If I want this bad enough, I'm going to make it happen. And I feel like I want this more than anybody. Mm-hmm. Um, once the girls came and got me, I said, you know what? Don't panic, get technical, get, use your arms. I rarely ever use my arms, so I really tried to focus on doing that to bring me home. I feel like I executed it really well. Yes, definitely, yeah. Um, I run the 200 differently than I run the 100. I feel like I'm able to input more of my heart because I really, really love the two, so that's what it came down to. Um, that's going to depend on my coach. I tried to do that this year. Obviously, well, that didn't go the way that I wanted to. Um, but it's going to depend on my progression in the 100. I've come a long way in the span of 10 months in the 100. So we'll see how next year goes. Thank you. Thank you.